Hey everyone, welcome back to the part 2 of the SQL series. In the last video, we discussed some of the basic fundamentals of databases. So we discussed how we used to store data before, then how we started storing data now, then difference between SQL versus NoSQL, relational databases, the structure of DBMS such as the databases, then we have the schema, then we have the tables. So we looked the fundamental concept and if you haven't watched that particular video, then go first watch that because that is really important to understand this. Then we talked about the database management system that we're gonna be using in this tutorial, which is, which is basically Postgres. So if you don't know how to install that, again, go watch the video and you will understand that. Now in this particular video, we're gonna be creating our first database we will create our first table and we will also insert data into our table and understand how to query that data. So without wasting time, let's get started. So what do you need to do? You need to first open the PG admin. So this is what our database management system looks like. It has everything. It has databases, the roles and groups. So you basically have two things. One, you have the terminal. Using terminal, you can query the database and make other changes. One, you have the UI. Now UI is pretty easy to understand. So we will also learn about, so we will learn about both the things. First, we will start with the UI so that you get used to writing query and understand some of the other concept. But in the future videos, we will also use the terminal. So you get experience of the both the things. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be creating our first database. So you will have the default database as Postgres. So just right click on that and click on the query tool. This will open the query tool where you can write your all the query over here. Now, what you need to do, we need to create our first database. So to create your first database, you just need to write create database and provide a database name. Now, in this tutorial series, we will give our database name as data engineering tutorial. Okay, just click on the semicolon and click on this particular icon and run it. This created our database successfully. You can go right click over here and refresh on the database and you'll see DB DE tutorial available over, over here. So in, inside the data set, we have a lot of things inside the data, data inside the database. We are mainly focusing on the schema because in the schema, we have multiple schema and we are mainly focusing on the tables. So as you can see, we have like functions, foreign tables, operators, procedures, sequences, uh, the trigger functions, views, and many more things. And we will discuss about these things in the future videos. But in this video, let's focus on the fundamental that are required for the SQL. Now, what do we need to do? We have the database ready. Now you can easily drop this particular database. What you need to do, do you just right click on this, click on the delete and drop. You can easily drop it or you can do a uh, drop database and it will directly drop the database. But we don't need to drop the database right now. We will drop database in our future videos when we are working with the new databases. But for this sake, for the sake of this video, let's create our first table and understand how to create a table. Now let's say if we don't know how to create a table, what you can do, you can just Google it, create table SQL syntax, and you will find a lot of different resources. So let's say if I do this particular right now, and I found find this particular Postgres, Postgres tutorial.com, and I found this particular syntax, which is basically create table. This particular thing is optional, table name, and you just need to provide the column, column name and data type name. Now we will look this particular thing into detail in the future videos, like different data types and everything. But as you can understand this, you will get a lot of examples such as, such as create table accounts, user ID, CDL, primary key, username, password, and all the other things. So we will use this particular thing and create our first table, but we will create a table for the teachers. So let me just open the PG admin again and let's create our first table. So to create first table, again, if you are following with me, this is pretty simple, create table the table name you just have to write a table name let's say teachers then you have to provide all the columns between that that you're going to be creating in the table so let's say id and we will provide the data type for the id such as serial so our first column is id and the data type is pick serial don't worry about data type right now we will discuss about data type into future videos to identify the teachers we are giving them ids okay then what do the teachers other have let's say first name so let's write the first name Let's give the first name as varcar25. Then let's give the last name also, the last name varcar25. Then let's talk about what, what are other things the teachers might have. The school she's teaching in, let's say school, varcar, let's give the school, school, school's name might be quite large. So let's give them 50 varcar, then higher date, so the day she got hired or he got hired, then the salary of a teacher. Okay. Let's just write the salary and let's provide numeric, numeric 
to this now once you have written your query you make sure you are running your query onto your database so currently we are connected to the postgres database that we started and created our database what you need to do you need to click on the de tutorial go and click on the query tool so that whatever the query you execute will be executed onto de tutorial database just copy this particular query over here and paste it and run this particular query and it should create a table over here now what you need to do just refresh this click on the refresh go to schema go to tables and you should be able to see the teachers over here now inside the columns you will see all the columns that we created over here you will see all the information over here so this is how we created our first table pretty simple just create table write your table name and provide all the columns in a data type now there are a lot of complications you can write the primary key apply foreign key if you have like multiple tables and everything but those things are for the future videos in this the goal of this video is to help you understand and give you the first confidence to write query by yourself and create table and insert data so currently this particular table is empty we don't have any data now what you need to do we need to insert data into this particular table and the inserting data is pretty simple there are multiple ways we're going to be using insert query so insert into again you need to provide a table name in this case we have teachers then you need to provide columns in which you want to insert the data so we will keep id as it is because we want to keep id auto incremental in the future videos so we will keep id as it is but we will write first name you can directly drag and drop if you are using using pg admins the first name then you can just drag the last name or you can just write like school higher date and salary now what you need to you need to provide value so what we are telling postgres over here is that we want to insert data into table teacher in these columns and we will provide values into this bracket now the way to provide value is pretty simple you need to write between if it is string in in single quote so first name because we are inserting data into the first name then you just have to write last name so last name is say give my name the shil parmar then the school so you just write the random school name let's say rn shah comma higher date okay so higher date let's give higher date as 2017 um first in the first month of january okay and the salary forty five thousand. okay this is we're not going to be put this we're not going to be putting this into single code because it's the numerical value and we're going to be just running this particular query so this particular thing inserted one row inside our table so this particular row inserted one single row in our table and you can easily see that by just running select statement so what you need to do select star from table name which is teachers this is the syntax you use to read the data from the table and run this particular thing and you will see we have id as one because this is auto incrementing we have the first name last name school higher rate and salary but this particular things looks quite small because we don't have much data over here so let's insert more rows into our database so i have the query ready over here i'm just going to copy this and paste this and just run this particular thing so i'm just inserting six rows over here the syntax is same as i provided and just write it over here i will provide the query link in the description but i suggest you to write these queries by yourself so that you will get more hands-on experience and once you uh, run this particular query just to select star from teachers because you are basically selecting all the data now as you can see we have a lot of different rows and a lot of different data available in our table now this looks good because we have rows and columns now what we just did we created our first listener table now this is very small generally if you are working as a data engineer or data scientist you will be working in on this on the large scale working with like petabytes and terabytes of data it will have like millions of columns even billions of columns and you will be doing joins you will be doing multiple joins and everything but this is the first step and this is how everyone starts even i started my journey just by writing my first line of sql code so you just created your first database created a table inserted a data and also selected that data and displayed that data on the screen now in the next video we will do some simple analysis on top of this table so we will query this table in different ways so you will understand how to do analysis using sql so one more thing if you face any issues and errors and if you're not able to understand any particular concept then you can join the discord channel there are a lot of different people who can help you out with this if you are new over here so you can join the discord channel check the link in the description so you will find the link and you can easily join that and ask your doubts over there so if you learned something new then make sure you like this particular video thank you for watching see you in the next video